New information has just come to light about the inner workings of the U.S. propaganda machine. In this video, we're going to talk about the new revelations that are shocking the history of it and what you should watch out for when it comes to U.S. propaganda. Now, it has just come out that the Pentagon has paid a PR firm over a half a billion dollars to make fake terrorist videos. They created videos for terrorism in Iraq in a secret program campaign exposed by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. The PR firm was called Bell Portiger. It's also known for its array of controversial clients, including Saudi Arabia, the despotic dictatorship, and Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet's foundation, which, uh, of course, Henry Kissinger led a coup d'etat to in Chile and led to the murder and torture of hundreds of thousands of innocent people in Chile. And this company worked for the U.S. military to create the propaganda in a secretive operation. Now, if you look at this PR company, they are a horrible piece of trash organization, all bent just to make money, selling their souls to the highest bid of Pinochet, Saudi Arabia, and now the U.S. Pentagon. The Pentagon is spinning this and saying, well, you know, um, it was to counter um, and to track people. No, no. When you look at the clientele, you know exactly what this PR company is doing, and that's creating more chaos for the biggest dictator, and next time it was the U.S. Pentagon. This company, the Bell Portagor operation, started as soon after the U.S. invasion of Iraq and was tasked with promoting the democratic elections for the administration before moving on to more lucrative psychological and information operations. So at first they came in with their initial work saying, no, we're going to promote these elections. Meanwhile, bam! We're making pro-Al-Qaeda videos trying to spread terrorism inside of that country. And this is an exact plan that they had ever since the 90s. There's a video of Dick Cheney, which will be in the link below, which will be in the descriptions in the links below, with Dick Cheney saying we can't get rid of Saddam Hussein, we can't fully invade Iraq because we will balkanize the regions and the Sunnis and Shiites and Kurds will be killing each other. It will be utter chaos with sectarian violence and it will be a very irrational thing to spread all this terrorism everywhere. Guess what they did in 2003? did that same exact thing. And this is what this Pentagon program was really all about, spending more than a half a billion dollars of your tax dollars to promote Al-Qaeda. When they're talking about lucrative psychological and information operations, we're talking about making Al-Qaeda propaganda videos. The firm also created fake Al-Qaeda propaganda videos, as this article says, which were then planted by the military in homes that they raided, again, creating more fake evidence. A lot of people out there are saying these new ISIS videos that we're seeing all over the internet, those are also probably created by the U.S. government. Well, all those Al-Qaeda videos that we were bombarded with and shown after Iraq, uh, after during the Iraq war, blaming them for 9-11, showing you how Al-Qaeda was in Iraq, that, that was all fake. That was fake. And you paid for it. The U.S. law actually prohibits the government from using propaganda on its own population, hence the use of an outside firm, which they contracted out. This law has not been followed for many reasons. If you know the Jessica Lynch story that happened in the Iraq invasions of 2003 on March 23rd, we had private first class Jessica Lynch being used as a propaganda tool. There was a huge propaganda story of how this lady fought to the last bullet, fought off Iraqi invaders, how they kidnapped her, how they captured her, how they were torturing her, and this brave woman who joined the army was a hero because she was later rescued. Well, no, the story is completely, utterly made up by Jerry Bruckheimer. Yes, the guy behind Black Hawk Down actually visited the Pentagon and pitched the ideas of how to fake this story, and the story was an outright lie. There was a conflict, but Iraqi medical staff helped her, was taking care of her until the United States military sent in tanks and helicopters, destroyed the hospital, because the Iraqi medical facilities called them and said, we have one of your soldiers, come pick them up. The United States, in a bid just to build up this propaganda, sent in a tank, utterly destroyed this hospital and then supposedly rescued her. No, she was already rescued by the Iraqi military. And you could watch a BBC uh, documentary just about how it was an outright utter hoax. Again, the same thing happened with Pat Tillman, the famous NFL star who took down, put down a lucrative NFL contract to go fight for freedom and liberty inside of Afghanistan. And of course, 
The man died, and the U.S. government lied about it, not only to his family, but the whole American public, to use him as a proper propaganda tool. The, whole government, the government still hasn't told the whole truth about what really happened, but it was definitely not friendly fire. The U.S. military and government said first Pat Tillman was killed in a gunfight, and he was brave, but no, it actually later came out that it was friendly fire. There's other people saying there's no way three bullet holes in the forehead from an N-16 that was 10 yards away was friendly fire. That was murder. And the family of Pat Tillman has come out and spoken out against the U.S. trying to use him as a major propaganda tool. As we know, Pat Tillman was also, after he was already in Iraq, dissatisfied with the U.S. government and what they were doing military because he found out we weren't fighting for freedom. And the propaganda continues on more extreme levels. Well, their military is using your tax dollars again, paying pro sports teams $10.4 million just for one patriotic display, just for a troop tribute. This, the, the, the whole controversy that's happening in an NFL right now with people standing down for, for the Pledge of Allegiance, the Pledge of Allegiance is being paid for by you at, with your tax dollars as a show of patriotism because they know they need to push this crap on you. The DOD paid $53 million of taxpayers' money for pro sports teams, for military tributes, for patriotism. This is all utterly Faked. In 2009, it was reported that the Pentagon had hired controversial PR firm the Rending Group to monitor the reporting of journalists embedded with the U.S. military to assist whether they were giving positive coverage to its missions. Again, this again continues, this spying on journalism, this buying of fake news. And the reason they do this is because the major factor that helped contribute to the end of the Vietnam War was the media. Back then, when we had some assemblance of journalism, we actually had real pictures, real videos of actually what was happening to our boys, the U.S. citizens who went over there. They showed the casualties, they showed the injuries during the Vietnam War, and that was a major contributing factor to having a large public outcry, having a large factor to deal with the rise of the anti-war movement and the very fact that this war was actually ended. But here in the United States, previously before, the Bush White House actually banned any news coverage of coffins even returning from Iraq, which shows you their utter and complete control grip of this. Do not be fooled by this propaganda. There's a reason they're spending almost, yeah, if you add it all up, they're spending billions of dollars of your money to convince you to go over somewhere and to do some do, do the most unnatural, unhuman thing that you could ever do and point a gun at somebody and end their freaking life. There's a reason the Pentagon is going and radicalizing more Muslims in the Middle East, paying a half a billion dollars to send out propaganda's videos to motivate them. There's a reason many people are saying the ISIS videos are made by the Pentagon, because they actually are doing that, and they did before, and we're just finding out about that right now. What we're going to find out in five years later, most likely that those ISIS videos are also U.S. propaganda to create more war, to create more conflict, because that means more lucrative contracts, more money, more problems that will never be solved because this government lives and is basically based on the problems that they create. Understand that, and you won't need government. Support us. And no, not only that, you know what? F screw that. Check out Change Media University. It's free for high school students where you could actually be a real journalist, fight the propaganda, because we are utterly in a psychological warfare with these monsters creating all these problems. They're convincing you that they're not. They are. The way to fight back is with information. That's why I started Change Media University, a full online course teaching you how to be a real independent journalist. Check it out. The link will be in the description below. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more important content coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change. But share this video with your friends, with your family members, with anyone who is even thinking about joining the military, with anyone who's saying, no, man, that guy should stand up and fuck you. Leave me, leave me. Send it to him. I don't care. Just do it. Love you guys. Stay awake.